Alright guys, welcome. This week we're going to be working on refraction. Uh, that's something you should have learned back in your 8th grade science class. If you didn't, it is where the light is actually passing through the glass and the water and then bending and coming out in a different area. Um, since we've been working with glass for a couple weeks now, we are just going to add some water and play with this refraction technique here. Um, so if you picked up some of your poster board that has colors, um, that's great. If you didn't, you can either go out and get some, or if you can't do that, any type of colored paper, even if it's a book that you can place in the back, um, it'll still show off this technique, okay? So to get started, um, you can see I already have some colors in there, but I'm going to go ahead and break this down and do this step for you. So I actually kept the white behind there. Um, just kind of as the main background to kind of support all of these others. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of measure up how tall this is because I'm only going to be lining it up right on the back. So just under this and then I'll go ahead and just trim a small section. And then I'm just going to place that right there in the back. And you're going to see it's just going to rest right on the white background there. Uh, and then with my other color here, I'm going to do the same, um, but I only need about half of that. So since we already have this here, um, you're just going to use about half of that line there. And what you're going to want to do is as you look through it, you're going to want to kind of line it up to where you get that split right in the center of the glass. All right, once we have worked out where that line is and it's nice and centered, we're going to go ahead and cover the side again, making sure that we have that nice soft light and a larger spread hitting not only the glass, but the background as well. Then we're going to open up our Lightroom mobile app. And if you have any lights that are in your room, um, you're gonna go ahead and turn those off so they're not giving any reflections on that glass. and then come in and when you're taking your photographs you want to try your best to line up the line so that along the water end and the top it is showing up split and remember you can change the settings in here your iso and your shutter you can both control remember the iphones and most phones have a fixed aperture so once you have those photographs then we're gonna jump into Photopea or Photoshop, depending on what program you're using at home, and clean those up and get them submitted on Canvas. All right guys, now that we're back at the computer, you're gonna go ahead and open your best photo and start to edit that. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a layer, new adjustment layer, levels, and I'm gonna bring my blacks up a little bit, my whites down, just overall brighten it up and give it a little bit more contrast. All right, go back to your background. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up a few of these spots on the bottom. So right click, duplicate. All right, grab our spot healing brush. There's just a few minor reflections showing up on the bottom here. Now because I used a cutting board on the bottom, which I wanted to use to give me a little bit of this reflection, uh, you can see that that also shows up, but that'll work for now. Um, what I'm going to try and do now is I want to bump up the saturation just a bit. Layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. I'm just going to bump the saturation up a little bit. All right, after you've finished editing that up, go ahead and go to File, Export as PSD, then File, Export as JPEG. Then go back to your Google Drive. Inside of your glass refraction folder, you're then going to drag and drop the two new files. Once they have uploaded, you'll rename those both your name glass refraction after. Then go back to Canvas and submit. 